hey in this video we are going to talk about oogenesis oogenesis is the process from which the oocytes are formed in ovary okay so every germ cells whether it is a sperm or oocyte that come from primitive germ cells and the primitive germ cells basically originate from the yolk sac and from the yolk sac they migrate to the genitals uh, that is testis or ovary so the primitive germ cells at the third week of intrauterine life migrate to the genital ridge from which the ovaries will be formed up to fourth week so if you want to remember one number just remember oogenesis begins in the intrauterine life at 6 to 8 week okay we already have talked about spermatogenesis if we see eugenesis the concept is same the primitive germ cells will be having 46 chromosomes that is of diploid set okay in case of female it will be 44 xx fine okay the first cell at the start of oogenesis is oogonium which is having 44 xx chromosomes from this mitosis happens remember not meiosis mitosis many time mitosis is happening and we will get the primary oocyte primary oocyte or primary spermatocyte when there is a primary word you must remember they have diploid chromosomal set that is 44 xx in case of male and 44 xy in case of, sorry 44 xx in case of female and 44 xy in case of male got it now the basic difference between spermatogenesis and oogenesis as already i have told that is the spermatogenesis starts at the puberty while the oogenesis starts remember not completes starts at into the intrauterine life at of six to eight weeks but it is not completed it is arrested so it started six to eight weeks of the intrauterine life till the time of birth of a female baby all this uh, all the germ cells we get is primary oocytes and the primary oocyte is of 44 xx diploid from now we having in uh, entering into the meiosis okay the meiosis is the process in which the diploid set of chromosome will be converted into haploid that is uh, 20 2x okay so we already know that the meiosis has a two basic process meiosis 1 meiosis 2 in meiosis 1 the progress is stopped or arrested in pro phase of the cell division it's also called diplotin stage at this level we have uh, we have a primary oocyte not converted into secondary oocyte it is the process is not completed so whenever for example uh, the vim, the female is of 18 years and for example for any 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 reason if we do a biopsy of ovary which cells we will get we will get not primary oocyte or not secondary oocyte we will get a between stage primary oocyte on the way to secondary oocyte okay arrested in pro phase or diplotin stage now with the puberty achieves ovulation starts so at the at the time of ovulation this process is completed which process 
first division of meiotic phase for example first stage of meiosis is completed when there is a ovulation and the primary oocyte is converted into secondary oocyte so you know this thing whenever there is a ovulation the oocyte comes into the tubes and uterus that oocyte is which oocyte secondary oocyte the first meiotic division completes at time of ovulation i am stressing every time so you know that that the first meiotic division we have a uh, 44 44 xx cell converted into 2 22x 22x but you know that that the only one cell will be we having the the secondary uh, the second cell uh, gene material will be discarded as a polar bodies so we only have one secondary oocyte from one primary oocytes it was different in spermatogenesis in spermatogenesis what we have, what we had we had two secondary oocyte from two secondary spermatocyte from one primary spermatocyte but in oogenesis we don't get two secondary oocytes from primary oocyte we only get one secondary oocyte and the gene material of 22x is discarded as a polar body okay and whenever we have a, 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 a oocyte comes from the ovary by ovulation that oocyte is what secondary oocyte and we will having one polar body so this is a oocyte and here is a polar body okay so this is a secondary oocyte that we got is uh, got uh, after ovulation now if if fertilization happens that means if sperm is piercing the oocyte during fertilization then and then only the second part of meiosis will complete otherwise it is not going to complete so whenever whenever there is a sperm that peers during fertilization the second phase of meiosis will complete it and what happened this 22x oocyte will again do what two cells 22x 22x but this cell have a have no cytoplasm only genome is there and this genome again will discarded as second polar body so this is the complete meiosis happening complete meiosis happens only after fertilization so this is how you remember so whenever you see that the fertilization is there fertilization is happening we will get two polar bodies after ovulation we get one polar bodies and after fertilization we get two polar bodies you got this okay so the and the one thing you need to remember is that 6 million oogonia are present at the time of 20 weeks of gestation in case of female baby 6 million but now this 6 million oogonia are continuously get apop apoptosis so at the birth we have only 2 million primary oocyte which are converted from the oogonia so 6 million oogonia was there but we are getting only 2 million primary oocyte 
एट द बर्थ अरेस्टेड इन द डिप्लोडिन स्टेज ओके दे आर नॉट सेकेंडरी यूसाइट येट एट प्यूबर्टी अगेन एट प्यूबर्टी ओनली थ्री टू फाइव लैख ऊसाइट्स आर देयर थ्री टू फाइव लैख ऊसाइट्स आर रिमेन्ड विच ऊसाइट्स प्राइमरी ऊसाइट्स बट अरेस्टेड इन टू डिप्लोडिन स्टेज ओके सो नाउ ग्रेचुअली द नंबर ऑफ सेल्स आर डिक्रीजिंग The size of mature ovum is big. It's the largest cell of the body. Can be seen in naked eye microscope. One twenty, one thirty, one twenty to one thirty micro. Okay. So this is the oogenesis. It's some uh, difficult, but you need to remember. One thing is that we have oogonia, from which we will get primary oocyte. Primary oocyte is a cell we have forty four x x. From primary oocyte, we will have meiosis part one, and we will get a secondary oocyte. But the another one will be converted into a polar body. It happens at the level uh, at the time of ovulation. Then this secondary oocyte will again have second stage of meiosis, and again we will get only one ovum. With another polar body. So, when we get the ovum at the time of fertilization, we have two polar bodies. This is how the oogenesis happens. Thank you.